You're watching Telecom TV's coverage of Mobile World Congress 2015 from here in Barcelona. And joining me in the studio now is Jean-Claude Kiesling from Deutsche Telekom. Jean-Claude, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Thanks for having me. Um, Internet of Things, it's a big topic at this show. Big topic last year, it's going to continue to be so. Um, Deutsche Telekom has its home automation platform. Um, I wonder if you could just tell me a little bit more about that and why, as an operator, you decided to go that, down this route. Right. Deutsche Telekom has multiple initiatives in terms of entering into the Internet of Things. So be it from M2M, be it into the smart cities engagement. So there's multiple different business units addressing the different needs in that mm. space. Myself in particular, we're looking at the smart home and the Internet of Things in terms of wearable technologies as well as infrastructure technologies for the residential home. What differentiates your platform, to your offering, from the numerous alternatives that are out there in the market? Right. The, different, the key differentiator, I would say, is choice. If I mm. bundle um, all the assets that we're providing to the end customer, it's uh, providing the opportunity of interconnecting devices and services from different brands, from different players, and we're bundling that in an ecosystem which we have named Kevicon. Kevicon started in Germany, I believe. Um, is it still German only, or are you expanding it into international markets? We're definitely expanding. Mm. The approach is, uh, first of all, is part of the core strategy of Deutsche Telekom overall. Um, we're addressing a platform-based service, Pan Europe. We've started from a home turf with Deutsche Telekom and leveraging the Deutsche Telekom brand for the German market, but it's actually an open platform-based approach, which means it's open for multiple technologies, it's open for multiple OEM products, multiple brands, therefore, but it's also based on a partnering strategy in terms of the go-to-market. That means we have a Deutsche Telekom product that we're supporting with our platform and with our application, but we're also making this available to other partners that bring under their own platform, under their own uh, brand, services uh, and a proposition to market. So do you manage the platform? Do you, do you ensure that everything is of, of, a, of a sufficient quality and interoperability? It's definitely launched um, addressing for the mass market, so it's capable of not only managing large number of users, it's also high secure standards. It's designed from an interoperability perspective to foster multiple brand offerings. Um, and it's uh, based on, a, on an architecture technology wise that it enables multiple applications to run in parallel at the same time. And when you expand this internationally, how, how do you go about, if, if, if there's a territory where, where you, you do not have a, a network, how do you go about selecting partners? Generally, the model is designed in such a way that it's independent of the footprint of Deutsche Telekom. Whilst we're also providing this under the brand of Deutsche Telekom to Deutsche Telekom's customers in Germany, and we're also looking at leveraging the footprint of Deutsche Telekom's subsidiaries internationally, we have a system which is simply based on a broadband connection. So that can be of any other um, uh, broadband or mobile uh, service providers, and using that technology allows us to do both, foster our own um, services there, and at the same time allow the end customer to be connected by whoever um, carrier they want to. And in terms of the smart home market as stands today, what are the services and, and devices that are proven to be most popular at the moment? Very much depending on the individual market needs. Um, generally speaking, we see that the majority uh, where there is also a commercial willingness to pay for a service is driven by security-based services, peace of mind security services. Germany in particular, I would say energy though, is, is actually the large driver. So optimizing and avoiding energy bill shocks, but you know, optimizing your energy consumption. And it all starts with transparency of uh, consumption, uh, disaggregation by rooms, by devices. Um, and when it comes to camera, it's obviously um, a security-based solution which easily may have uh, an entry point of simple want to have an own self-monitoring type of approach, but then when it becomes broader and when the service becomes adopted, more to go in a, I would say, a semi type of um, professional managed security. Okay. Are we going to see new categories of, of devices as time goes by? And also, um, you mentioned earlier about wearables and, and that you have responsibility for wearables. So, are wearables and smart home devices, are they one and the same thing? 
I think we're segregating between a pure infrastructure in a residential home. It is things like you know the fixed building infrastructures, switches, uh, uh, smart plugs, etc. But we see um, uh, growing demand for wearable technologies also to be integrated. Mm -hmm. It comes down then at the end, if you have an open platform as we do, that gives you that opportunity to use both fixed installations but also wearable technologies. And that comes down then to technology itself from a radio communication perspective. So we're looking at supporting the most common commercially used um, technologies such as Zigbee, such as Z-Wave. In Germany also uh, Homatic is a commonly used uh, protocol. Uh, when it comes to the wearable devices, it's a Bluetooth and particular Bluetooth low energy is of interest. So how do you promote this platform to, to developers and, and other, other companies? How do you encourage them to look at what you're doing and provide their service on top of your platform? From a platform perspective and from an um, application perspective, we're purely going B2B. Mm. So we're looking for B2B partners um, that are entrepreneurs and addressing their own customer base, addressing their own um, market territory. As Deutsche Telekom, however, we're also promoting an own product for Germany only. As this market develops, are we going to see the um, smart connectivity disappear for, for, for consumers and users? It will just be commoditized, it will be in the background, it, it will be in all things. I think commoditized is probably the right word. Mm. Today, whilst it is a differentiator and while it's giving you a sort of an innovative touch of a product, going forward and, and, and as we see literally the explosion of uh, smart devices as they come to market, it will commoditize and it will become very natural to have uh, a product, a device connected towards the internet. Um, so whilst today it's an innovative thing, it will become a feature, it will become commodity going forward. Actually, there will not be any non-communicating devices, we believe, going forward. Jean-Claude, fascinating. A lot to develop on the Internet of Things, um, and we look forward to seeing how, it, how this market progresses over the next few years. Thank you for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you very much for having me.